My name is David Worrell and um, I'm a composer, Australian composer. And um, I came to the School of Music in 1986 from the University of Melbourne. And I came here to teach composition and in s particular teach composition in electronic music, although I taught both instrumental and electronic music, yeah. And um, I was at the school till 1989, so it's a three-year period, and then I started a centre in, the, in what became the Institute of the Arts called ACAT, the Australian Centre for the Arts and Technology, and we taught and did research in the school here and the School of Art and the rest of the university. And I ran that till 2000, 2001, and then left, yeah. Um, 1986, uh, this is, um, media's just happened, really, just started, um, and the composition, the, well, first of all to say, I suppose, is that the School of Music had an electronic music studio which was well known in the country, it had, was set up by Don Banks and a few other people and uh, they did, had done a lot of work in that area, mostly on the staff, I think and um, they'd been involved in a bit of research a, a, ahead of time, so what became the Fairlight computer music instrument, which was became, in the end, quite a famous instrument with lots of groups using it. Well, all that early development work was done here on an instrument called the Q2. And um, so it had a history of, of research and, and um, activity, artistic activity, before I came. And... Uh, the, the, the number of students in the school was very small at that time um, and when I came there was very few composition students actually. Mostly people did composition as a second study and uh, when I came I thought that that was an um, uh, undesirable situation and that we should that was, there was strength in numbers and that we should develop it. But those people who were here um, and working, uh, not necessarily even in the degree, but in the local community who would come in and use the studios, were very enthusiastic. I didn't receive any resistance from 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 the com composers or that. Um, still a little bit of resistance from the performers, um, but really not, not nothing you would say that was um, terminal. Yeah. Mm. There was a very strong community relationship, people in the local community um, who were active and well known, the local radio station, um, there were people working and yeah, people were pretty turn, turned on and tuned in to what was happening and yeah, that was exciting because um, I didn't come into a wasteland at all um, and of course I had predecessors here who, uh, you know, um, who had also worked and but it was small there was not a large body of people or a large body of students working in that area the school had a sort of policy at the time of you know you got into the school on the basis of how well you played an instrument and then if you're interested in composition well that was good and we'd teach you composition but and I I, I thought that was limiting um, and that um, what was important is if you wanted to make music and you wanted to make music with electronics or computers or whatever it was, um, that you shouldn't be judged on the basis of how quickly you could, you know, tickle the ivories. <laughs> well, my interest in computers, well, well, actually it wasn't even computers at the time because computers were hardly being used in music when I first started. It was all electronic music. So it was analog electronics with, um, you built electronics. Um, but all that, I suppose, came out of my interest in mathematics and science as well as music. I was brought up and trained as a classical player in violin and piano. So I came, and I, and I never saw the distinction. I never saw, understood why you would not be interested in science and electronics and and computers and those sorts of things, and mathematics. Why you would not be interested in those and music? Uh, I played the violin all the time and played the piano all the time and did lots of concerts, but I also did, you know, made electronics and made funny noises. Um, when I went to, first went to university in Sydney, um, was the first time I had the opportunity to really have a, have a 
mm, to experience you working with a computer. And, but the computers in those days were mainframe computers. There was one computer in the whole of the university. It was in the physics department. And you programmed it using punch cards. I mean, uh, and so my early experiments in com- computer music were not about making sound with the computer, but m- doing calculations and then transcribing those calculations for, for acoustic instruments. And in all that, I think the big influence on me was the Greek-French composer Yanis Sanakis. Um, his, he wrote in a way that I understood. It was very natural for me. He, he has a fabulous book called Formalized Music, and he wrote about music and his thoughts about this, the relationship between music and mathematics and music and mathematics and philosophy was... I mean, it was like he was my 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 father, my musical father in a way. So he was the person that really inspired me, I think, to pursue that. And of course, later on, I, I met him and spent time with him in his studios and I wasn't disappointed. Well, it's nice to come back to the school, I must say. Um, I've been away for quite a while and I live in Germany now, so I'm really quite separate from not only um, not only the School of Music, but Australia. So to come back to the school, and I, I know a lot of people, not only in the school, but in the university, because my work in the centre that I established had a big outreach program into the rest of the university in computer science and engineering and geography, and it feels like home, really. It's nice. Um, but it's nice to also bring back the work that I've been doing and to, you know, um, let people hear what I'm doing and to get their feedback on it and, and that people have been very open and, and, and receptive, I think. Uh, I'm doing some things which some people wonder if they're music and if they're not, and that's not an unusual thing for me. I think I'm interested in always pushing those boundaries. So I'm doing some pragmatic work in, in network sonification, the whole idea of taking pragmatic data and turning it into sound and understanding the musical structures that are involved in that is something that I've been doing here and um, uh, and has, I think, received quite positive response. Um, I've done a concert of work um, in which I've been illustrating some of the things that have been going on in computer music really from the beginning of computer music and music and in, in, in computers and musical and uh, acoustic instruments as well. And um, I played some pieces that I made here and uh, on the instruments that were here, which have a very particular sound. And, um, and I've been doing some teaching, a little bit of teaching um, with some of the students and the composers seem interested. And I've been, I suppose, doing a little bit of mentoring in that regard, I think. Uh, so in a way, I've shifted quite a lot in my own work because I've sort of come back to being a traditional musician, but doing it through computers and understanding more about what it is that one does when one plays music. Um, yeah, so it's been a good time, yeah.